This was the occasion to launch the report titled From Courtship to Institutional Collaboration. It is aimed at helping to bridge the age-old gap between civil society organizations and the Uganda government in service delivery. Case studies on natural resources have indicated that returns from the environment could be better if a collaborative effort between CSOs and partners that manage the resources was effective to help protect the mutual interests. The government's lack of efficient natural resource management systems and low technology expertise for mitigation measures coupled with poor collaboration with CSOs was cited as a reason for overstretching the resources. If government is to reach out over large numbers, we have mechanisms to reach. Even if you wanted to reach X million Ugandans to do a particular practice. But government also has a tendency of wa wanting to do it for themselves, even when they don't have to. And However, an official from the National Planning Authority says the objectives of the NGOs and those of the government should have a point of convergency for better collaboration. Some CSOs come with a certain objective, but behind the scenes they transform. They try to be uh, uh, more species. They try to be avenues of political agenda. The report that recommends measures to prevent environmental and other societal disasters recommends complementary relationships to build trust between the state and CSOs. CSOs are critical, certainly. Um, government is critical of CSOs. It's better to try and think what you can do together than what keeps you apart. Work on the report involved central and local governments as well as a consortium of civil society organizations with environmental alert as the leader. Craig Adoda, NTV, tonight.